end on that note, we cue the music. Sacco and Vanzetti of Bill's books. So Yeah, look that one up. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to the new books, shall we? First of all, a very cling on Christmas. Please, don't encourage that kind of thing. Thank you. Um buy this though. Do encourage this. Dia de la Muertos. I got one. Hardcover. Is it hardcover? No, it's a paperback. All paperback. Anyway, you should do good. If you haven't read it, read it. It's awesome. Roddy Rossamore, you know how we feel about it. What's this? Zombies vs. Robots Anthology. That's a wordy book. Oh. Yeah. Um, you got to be able to piece sentences together for ooh, that one. That might uh, factor me out. Uh, Dennis's Pick of the Week, Action Comics. Annual. Annual. DC got everyone oh, this with week the with annuals. annuals. I know. I got to ring it up. Like, we have like a, a 399 key and a 299 key, but when it's like anything else, I got to type it in manually. I can't do it. Look at them. Me. All these. We got ladybugs of, we, everywhere. We're being overrun by ladybugs, ladies and gentlemen. It's not as adorable as it sounds. No. Anyway. Um, and it's not the ladybugs with Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> Aquaman. Oh, look at the, yeah, Aquaman. Look at this. The Archie variant. This has got to be the cover of the week for me. The Archie. It's a good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Uh, what do we got here? The Ultimate Comics Cataclysm. About to end that. Notably uh, written by Joshua Josh. Hale Fialkov, Josh. who we love. Criminal Macabre, oh, issue two, Eyes of Come Frankenstein. On. Awesome. Crossed. Bag for your protection. Bag. I mean, just look at the cover, though. You kind of... Yeah, you got a pretty good little, idea. A little monk there just smiling with some... Yeah, and I've with, never uh, seen a dirtier hand gesture. <laughs> uh, Damien, son of Batman. We've got uh, a lot of them. There's a couple up there. Yeah, so... Um, Forever Evil, Argus. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, Jeremy's pick of the week, the Green Lantern Annual, Lights it's, Out Part Five. It's the only one that actually is part of an actual storyline. Well, I take it back. The action is part of the Return of Krypton. What do we got here? A little, a little, a little My Little Pony, pony double action. shot, a little double shot, of My Little Pony. That's uh, that's a, little, a lot of protein. Did you say uh, uh, a little double shot? Uh, Skyward. I love that book. I really, really do. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of your favorites, isn't it? It is. Seems and nothing will spoil that for me. Seems to be a big hit around here. Sonic the Hedgehog, Carl's special pick of the week. If he'd, Carl would watch YouTube, he'd... He'd know that we are sticking it to him. Yeah. <laughs> in a big way. <laughs> but he doesn't, so too bad. Uh, let's see. It's True Lies of the Fabulous Killjoys. It's finally starting to make more sense. Nick's finally understanding it. About an issue away from ending. Yeah. Uh, we have the Vertigo Essentials, number one, V for Vendetta, which reminds me, hey, Lechuga, did you ever use the uh, digital download, the David Lloyd digital download that we gave you? I want to know how that... Uh, Aces Weekly? Yeah, or? How, how it was, if it was any good. Look at this, hardcover. Yeah, got little, more in. Little, little Frank Francesco Francovia Black yeah, Beetle. Yeah, got more in. Oh, Already sold one. Yeah. We're propping that guy up. Uh, got Arcane Secrets. That's a fun little book. The Curse of the Mottled Tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary's Pick of the Week, of course. Issue 1, 
Ash in the Army of Darkness, Steve Niles, Dennis Calero. There's nothing about that sentence that isn't perfect. Except for Gary. That part is... What do we got? Astounding Villain House. Uh, it's from the... It was in Dark Horse Presents. Okay. Uh, let's see. Avengers, Avengers, Infinity, War Infinity stuff. Avengers uh, AI. Avengers AI. Danger Girl, notable for this Dan Panosian cover. I remember when Dan Panosian was like this terrible uh, Rob Liefeld knockoff, but his art has gotten really good. His stuff is... I really I like stuff. his stuff now. Um, Why don't you put that back where it goes? Oh, sorry. la dee da uh, Ryan's pick of the week, Deadpool Kills Deadpool. Which I don't even know how to... Yeah. Freudian would cover that. Yeah. Monsterology? Department of Monsterology. Depart it's actually a fun book. And then there's... Oh. Nick loves death sentence. Death sentence? I mean, where else when you get superpowers because you get a sexually transmitted disease that's going to kill you? Powers? Well, that, uh -huh. but it's not going to kill you. I, listen, I hate to, like, talk about people's art because I'm terrible, but these girls both look like, their thighs look like tree trunks. They're, like, really powerfully built, and they look like they're going to poop. Yeah. I, listen, Usually far most, be it for me, like I said, to impugn other Most people have people. other things about the yeah. grim fairy tales they like, but okay. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying I like that. I'm not into that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Nick's pick of the week. No, is this Nick's pick of the week? Yeah. It must be Frank Avilla. It is, all interiors. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Nightwing Annual. This is... Uh, Carl's alternate pick for the week, Powerpuff Girls. It's got Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Punisher, Trial of the Punisher, issue two, Joe's pick of the week. Great book. Oh, yeah. This is a gorilla with a baseball bat trying to kill a zombie. Kill zombies. Oh, yeah. So That's how it works. Yeah. But it's actually called Rex the Wonder Dog. Rex the Wonder Dog. King the Wonder Dog. Here's Saga, new issue of Saga. Great book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Super! Super! <laughs> Thanks for asking! <laughs> Money. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got Superior Spider Man. Yeah, the Superior Spider Man. He's getting awful tentacly. Yeah. E.T., the extra tentacle. Hentai! Uh, Chad's pick of the week. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A lot of people are liking Fall. the City Fall storyline. Yeah, a lot of people are uh, really getting into the. Uh, uh oh. No, you want the other one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, remember when I said Archie had the cover of the week? I think I might have to retract that. There you go. Hokey smokes. This one this one doesn't even compare on any other week. That would be a real winner. But this one, ladies and gentlemen. It's like every, can, every guy that's got mirrors on his shoes dream. I can, I can feel my body changing as we speak. You're becoming a man? I am becoming a man. Um, Wilder. From MonsterVerse. We love MonsterVerse comics. I think it's werewolves and Nazis, if I'm not yes, mistaken. It is. And it's got a little contest in the back where you take your picture with the Wilder and you can get a free sketch from the artist. So that's pretty cool. And it's also got a tribute to uh, Josh Meadows in there. The late, great Josh Meadows. Wild work. What is this? Eric Red's Wild work. This one got uh, Dracula, Van Helsing, Steampunk. Wow. Yeah. Steampunk and vampires. Andrew's pick of the week Battle of the Atom. It finally over. X Men. We'll see where it le what next mini series crossover it leads uh, yeah, into. Yeah. Uh, look, we got Super Friends DVD. It's Zan and Jaina Super Friends, uh, so it's not as yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, Baltimore the Plague it's Ship. A dollar reprint number one. Blood Brothers. And finally, the last issue of that. It's uh, a good book though. Bushido finally the last, last issue. Last issue of that. That's okay book. Yeah. Bill's pick. Captain America. Living, Living Legend. Legends pretty good. By Andy Diggle. <laughs> I just love to say Andy Diggle. Look at this, Jonah Hex Classic Tales. That's awesome. See, we get stuff like that because we get calls from our DC rep who we don't want to leave, which means now he's got to decide if he's going to uproot from New York to California. Is is our DC rep leaving? No, know. DC moved. Uh, I know that, but, but he's going with him, though. Are they taking him, too? He's got a, that's a big decision. He's got to uproot his family. Oh, my God. And we so, get... Yeah. We like our DC rep. He's we fantastic. Keep that. Yeah. We want to keep him. So stay with no go. Yeah. But stay. go west, my friend. Go yeah, west. Right. 
Uh, very excited about this. Richard Corbin, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven and the Red Death. Did you Those hear are... my voice crack when I said that? I remember when I was becoming yeah. a man earlier. It's wearing off. <laughs> we got Fathom, putting the ass in Aspen Entertainment. I've been waiting to use that joke all morning. Hokey smoke. He sits here. He comes in an hour early just so he can just write to look this at this. Stuff. Yeah, and that's the saddest thing I've ever heard because this the jokes are terrible. Five ghosts. Oh, now we're so excited! Ongoing. Five ghosts is back. Ah, we're excited. Uh, Infinity. Mm. Uh, let's see, itty bitty Hellboy. Uh, mm. yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna. Yeah, you're not gonna poo poo. Look, I might, I might always not agree with some books or like some books, but that's me. But I will fight. I oh. know, I will fight for anyone's right to buy whatever schlop they want. And I will fight for your right to party. Nice. Uh, Sandman Overture. I heard that this is really, really excellent. Uh -huh. I'm not a Sandman guy myself, but I've heard that it transcends its own uh, genre and. Should appeal to a wider. It's got a fold out. Variety of people. A fold out. Yeah, somewhere I is think in the, the back. Is it Deja Thoris? No. Oh. oh wait, here it is. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is fantastic. Now everyone's going to be tripping. Oh look at that. Thank uh, you. So you got to buy two issues so you can pull that out and make a poster of. Sure. Speaking of pulling it out, here's Sex. The new issue of Sex is bagged. Which it probably it's got should, an orgy right on the cover, kids. That uh, that wraps around to the back too. It's a wrap around, reach around, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. See, I don't. I just make some of these things. I just make hey, up on the at spot. least that book sticks with what it is. You know, <laughs> that's right. You said sticks because <laughs> it's sticky. Is why it sticks. Well, I got to um, put it in plastic. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Bebop, Bebop and, and Rocksteady. Probably my, two of my favorite characters. Sure, sure. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Look, Thor, Crown of Fools. I wonder if there's a Social Thor movie coming song, out. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Thought Bubble. 2013 Thought Bubble. Those okay. are always cool. There's always some cool stuff in there. The Leeds Comic Convent Art Festival. Pick why, it up. Why don't you buy one? I I'll bet you. I'll bet you if you go to your shop right now, they don't have this. Yeah. I'll bet you. Call Only Bill's Books us. has the best in independent small press and creator-owned comics. Only Bill's Books. In Northeast Ohio. In North, no, in the world. Well, I don't know about that. Right. You shut up. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Zombie Tramp, ladies and gentlemen. I read it last night. It was actually kind of funny. That was the theme of my high school homecoming dance. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? Farlane the Goblin. Look at that. Little Farlane the Goblin. See? Hmm. Anyway. There's all so, kinds of stuff. And then, of course, oh, 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 we got, got some to restock more. some Hawkeye. Got, always got to have Hawkeye on hand. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, we also got this, too. What's this? The Unwrapped Hush. The it's ironic that it's called Unwrapped Hush, but it's wrapped. Yeah. That's ironic. It is. Take note, Alanis Morissette. Isn't it I feel ironic? Like I, I feel like I'm over people getting on Alanis Morissette's case about not knowing what irony is. Hey, I didn't know for the longest time that she was from You Can't Do That on Television. I used to love that show. That is ironic. No, it's not really. Um, Oz 2014 calendar for the back of your bathroom oh, door. Wait. There you go. Um, let's see, what else? We got an orange lantern. How do you feel about that? A little orange lantern? It's mine. It's yours? No. Oh, okay. We got the Walking Dead Risk. How about that? Nice. We also got Batman Arkham Origins. We got a couple of, uh, gaming... It's the PS3 and the Xbox. The reason we got them for our... Because we care oh, yeah. about our customer. Because this is the deluxe that has... The Joker statue. I, I want that. Can can I have that? You gotta buy it. Can I have it without buying it? I think they call that stealing, but can I mean I steal you can that? do it. I mean you just gotta, you know, do hey, it. Go to prison for it. Let's go walk over here, huh? Look, hey, look. Look what Bill found for me. Sweet. The back of this shirt. Oh yeah, there's the back of my uh, Looks like fall back here. My Sam Axe shirt. Um look, Marvel Legends style Universal Monsters. I already had the Wolfman. Bill found the Mummy and Frankenstein for me. Nice. Bill's always looking out for his employees. Most of us. Anyway, so now all I gotta get is the Creature from the Black Lagoon and Dracula, and I'll have the whole set. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And uh, we also got uh, Julie Newmar, Catwoman. Nice. OG Catwoman. It's a. It really looks great. Yeah. We got a little Mini Mate Star Trek USS Enterprise. It, it, the Captain Kirk doesn't do anything, but the ship is just cool. 
Well, it, what it, what's nice is it looks like it's anatom it's on anatomically correct because it looks like the hair comes the hair off. Hair comes off. Yeah, it's uh, character specific. Look at these uh, figural bus bags we got. We've got Bride of Frankenstein, Mid Macarena. She's doing the Macarena. I hope you can edit in the music for this. No. Don't be like that. I don't have that kind of money. Okay. Um, and then we've got the Wolfman. Rawr. Yeah, he's he's rooting tooting. We also got uh, Captain America Pop. Look, there's Captain America Pop. As you can see, also, the previews came out this week, so next week we're going to have all kinds of crazy stuff to show you. So we got that. Uh, we also wanted to show you, look at this, uh, Dan Gorman, an artist who uh, uh, is comes to the store quite often, did some really great Walking Dead sketch covers that we are selling for him. So we want you to take a look at this stuff. I think... His stuff is just... He just keeps getting better get and better. Better and better. This guy's stuff is so amazing. And he did do uh, his, AMC cards. Yeah, and that's right. So here's the governor. This one is one the of the best. Nice. The Merle is amazing. So here's Rick. And here's Carl. And there's the house back there that he's supposed to stay in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these sketch covers are $35. And Dan Gorman will be with Bill on Saturday, this coming Saturday, at Goularty Fest in Cleveland, Ohio, a celebration of all things Goularty, who is the pioneering horror host from Cleveland. So stop up and see Dan and Bill on Saturday. I'll also be there walking around and generally nerding out because you know how I am. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you is we have... Uh, Halloween is kind of like the, the, sec the new second free comic book day. Uh, so we got a stack of free comic book Halloween comic free comic book day Halloween. Can I just, just keep saying those just words? Keep talking. Halloween comic free book comic Halloween yeah. day. Book People free. get the idea. Yeah, free books Halloween. Yeah, we've put them out Sunday. They've been out for about almost a week now. Oh, and I'm very excited. We got the new Ragged Rider in. And I got from those guys. Uh, they brought in yesterday. Is they did a collected book. It's five bucks, but. It collects a lot of the little minis. Oh, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Ragged Rider, Cowboy Mummy, excellent stuff. We love it here. Um, before we go, before I forget, last week I wanted to tell you this and I forgot about it. Go to Indiegogo.com. It's, like it's like a Kickstarter uh, crowdfunding thing. Look up Shaolin Mutants. It's by Per Perez and it's Kung Fu in a post-apocalyptic world. Well, isn't that how the apocalypse will happen? I hope so. But anyway, I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to pledge some money to Per Perez to get his uh, project funded because if there's anything I like more than Kung Fu, it's post-apocalyptic Kung Fu with monsters. And I mean, the only other... It's like Mad Max meets the 36th Chamber of Shaolin. You know what? The only thing that would have made that even better? What? Um, I'm thinking is Dolomite? Foxy Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so check that out. And uh, we will. I guess we'll see you uh, at Goularty Fest this weekend. And we'll be back next week with our previews edition where we tell you all kinds of crazy stuff. prepping stories. for Akron next weekend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Next weekend is the Akron Comic Con, another great Comic Con that we have here. We're very lucky to have a lot of excellent local shows uh, during the fall here in, in Ohio. So check that out, and we will see you next time. Happy Halloween. Jerks. Hasta mañana. This is why we keep Nick off the camera. <laughs>